Ah, she's down there. Okay. Ratskewer. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Ratskewer. Oh, mm -hmm. crossbow bolts. Oh, I forgot I can have more of those now. <laughs> I have an idea. It's probably a bad one, but... Hi. <laughs> What's up there? Come here. I need to put you somewhere where you're not going to be noticed. I don't know why I don't just use the damn door. Keep the uh, running down to a minimum. I don't think anybody was coming in here. Hide them behind the couch just in case. I could leave them there, but I don't know. The patrols here are in this game, rather, not necessarily right here, are random sometimes, which is actually kind of nice and realistic. But it makes choosing a hiding place important. As it, as it should be. Come here, lady. You can chill with your friends up here. <laughs> Try to dupe some other victim. Thanks for the money, by the way. I greatly appreciate it. I have more upgrades to buy. Man, be without having powers, it seems like I have way... I had, rather, way too much money. Alright, let's get up top. Let's see what we can seize. Alright, I'm not going over that way. Somehow I doubt there's anything beyond there. Whoop. Anything up here? Nope. Up we go. Maybe we should duck now just in case. Oh, it's nice being up here. Oh crap. Well, it took me where I wanted to go. Can't get up any higher. So there was that one room. Hi down there! But if I get rid of everybody, I can just use a lockpick. One night, I will get back I'm to you if I hear anything more. Sincerely, me. Oh, I hate this wool. It itches like. I don't know if that was an actual conversation I needed to hear. It was uh, kind of just random. Oh god! Hey, is there? Huh? Ow! That works. I had nowhere to go. All right, so he actually is going to patrol. Just all of a sudden. How you doing, buddy? There you go. You can be up here. Don't worry, nobody will disturb you. Well, that helped nothing at all. There we go. Oh, they're so close together. That's what? There we go. I don't know why I stood up, and I don't know why they all of a sudden, exactly right then, knew that I was there. Cora. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Thank you. Bye. Nice. This is the way I likes it. Hopefully, don't get reinforcements anytime soon. Alright. Ooh. Copper wire. Oh, what's this? Wind mall operations. Checked wind speed. Danger. High wind speed. Ensure gear work for everybody. Best stuff. Okay. Glad I read that. Oh, grindstone. Seriously? How do I climb up there? Here? Ugh. Get up there. There we go. Ugh. No more wall of light. Oh, they are pissed. Probably shouldn't be surprised. Oh, well, at least one lady was pissed. Oh, there we go. So they're just searching. 
Good for them. Give me the bullets, thank you. Alright, well this is another way up. Actually, much da more dangerous way up. Make sure I got everything and I'll go up one more. Oop. I said, don't climb into it! Ah, there we go. Wait, what? Huh? What do you think you're doing? I think that wasn't fair. Just saying. So they pro that guy probably saw the bodies of the uh, gang members that I kind of stuffed behind the couch, but whatever. I should have probably expected that when I uh, shut off the windmill that somebody would come up here. It's still on. Give me a hand. Oh. All right, let's grab some stuff before they come up here. Uh, there, read it. Don't think it's important, but I read it. So I wonder if they'll come up here and turn the uh, turn back on. Oh. Yeah. Let's uh, move you if that's the case. That was a lot lot of bone charms I saw over there. Weapons away, seriously. I don't know how long it's gonna stop doing that, just pick her up. Don't know how long it's gonna take them to get up here. Or if they're even going to do it. He might have just come in because he saw me through the door. Put it away, there you go. Right, go down here. If I can go up farther, let's go down here. Are you asleep? Are you wearing a mask? You're an overseer. Thank you for the pistol bullets. <laughs> Read your seven strictures in the duck. <laughs> Oracle order divided. A representative from the Sister of the Oracular Order in Circonos paid a surprise visit this week to officials at the Grand Palace, delivering a message that calls into doubt the Order's formerly held position on the illegitimacy of our new Empress, Delilah Caldwin. It seems that there is an intense disagreement between the sects of the secretive organization. While not a full reversal, the visit to the Grand Palace prompted the following statement from Duke Luca Abella. It pleases me that the sisters of the Orcalcular Order have come closer to endorsing our beloved Empress Delilah Caldwin. Her recent and valiant coup is an attempt at restoring just rule to the Empire, and I advise the Orcalcular Order and the ever-stubborn Abbey of the Everyman to immediately embrace Delilah as Empress, accepting her wisdom and authority. We thank the Orcalcular Sister for delivering this vision, and we call for a day of celebration. Meanwhile, Vice Overseer Liam Byron, speaking on behalf of the Abbey of the Everyman, advises restraint, saying that the latest missives from the Orcalcular Order are still being interpreted and debated. Uh, so definitely some political and some religious uh, problems going on. Not everybody agreeing that she is supposed to be... Empress. Which she's not. But yeah, we know that. Note from the Overseer. Or note to the Overseer. Overseer Ogburn. I should be back within a few days. Continue to compile information on Brianna Ashworth's activity. Despite the odd letter we received from our Orcalculus sisters in Kalro, it's not like them to issue a proclamation without certainty. But I know I'm right about Ashworth. My mu- Let's start over. My gut tells me she's a threat. That said, the Howlers are my priority. This conflict with Palio could affect our influence on Karnaka for years to come. Yours in the strictures, Vice Overseer Liam Byrne. Oh, shit. Um, I can play this, but is that gonna wake him up? Oh, what the? Brianna Ash. Yeah, it's gonna wake him up. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> to be fair, I just wanted to see. And why did he trap it? I'm gonna have to look at that trap again. I saw the grenade and I'm like, what is that? 
Let's poke the grenade. Luckily, I disarmed it instead of setting it off. Right, can I knock you out? That doesn't look like it. Okay, well, let's look around a little bit more. Take all of his savings. His gun. Get him to come in here. Don't know if I want to waste a uh, stun grenade, stun mine rather, on him. But that would be a good point to use it. I could flush the toilet over here. Here. No. Okay. Uh, alarm clock. There we are. Come on. Wakey, wakey! Oh, I'm waking up just so I can put him out again. You really shouldn't be sleeping in that chair. Uh. It's not good for your back. Come on back, buddy. Is he seriously not going to come back? Maybe he thinks he set the alarm. Hello? 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 Oh. Seriously? Why is he looking up there when the alarm was in the other room? It doesn't make sense! So if he's doing random searches though, I better get out of the way. Because he might go into the bathroom. It's a- it was an alarm, dude. That's all it was. What? There you are. How? Uh, I don't. What the? Seriously? There's something wrong with this game. Let's see if I can set up the uh, the alarm again, and then go back to my hidey hole. Now that he's up, maybe he'll come back there. Come back here. Whoa! What was that? What? What? What was? Th Anyone oh here? My God. Show yourself. No. No. I don't want to. Can't make me. I think it sucks I can't even risk poking my head out because he'll see me then. Damn it! Might have to use a stun mine on this guy. Oh. <sighs> Where's my pistol? I stole it off of you. I've had enough of you, sir. I was gonna knock you out on your bed, but you made this difficult. Lay down. Alright. So they've been tracking her. Thank you for the map. Although somehow I'm gonna burn it into my memory and leave it there. Okay, what was this? Ah, so there. There we go. Makes much more sense. On the Orcalcular Order by Douglas Har Harwinkle Historian. Harwinkle? That's just an odd last name. Much has been said about the blind sisters in the Orcalcular Order. In truth, their eyes function just as... I think I've already read this. I've already read that. Okay, well, we can actually listen to this now. Brianna Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth has some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers on the forward face of the abbey... Pushing into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few hours, you will find your sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracula Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Especially if she's influencing religion to influence politics. Again, I think Delilah's endgame is to rule everything without anybody being an ally. 
Alright, well, let's go up, shall we? It's always the direction I've liked. Let's see, anybody out here now? Hello! Maybe they come to see how this works. Guess not. I didn't need to do that, but okay. I keep forgetting I can just climb up there. Hey, it's the chimney! Was there a reason to do this? I guess not. Did he not come up? Why did he come up one time but not the others? I don't understand that. Okay. You down there? That's a lot of dirt. They be hauling dirt. I can't help that, okay. All the years of my life before that. I'll take that. Hmm. This is a good way to come down. Well, I do want to see what's over there as well. I don't see a way to get up there unless I come over this way. Can I climb up here? I can! Nice. Locked to the inside, of course it is. Can never be that easy. Air feels heavy. Shit. Hard to get a good lung full. Okay. I just had some, but I couldn't drink it. It was horrible. Ooh, there's something in here. Hello? Hello? Why do they bar some windows, but not those? Hey, a pearl fan. I saw one of those in the shop window. I didn't want to break it. Okay. Hello, anybody in here? Just an empty house, okay. Red eels. Might be a little hungry. Oh, hi. Um, You're one of Delilah's ladies. Are you watching? <laughs> They're all watching each other. This is amazing. Oh, this is not. Mine collapses numerous casualties. A representative from the Miners Family Committee reports that another silver mine has partially collapsed, leaving eight miners injured and killing 12. The committee maintains that the Duke's unrealistic production goals were the true culprit, citing the overlong shifts that have been in practice since miner owner Aramis Stilton disappeared. The mines are now managed directly by the Grand Palace until such a time as Stilton returns, or until a new director can be found. However, the Grand Palace's official statement blamed the collapse on human error and threatened to arrest anyone found guilty of demoralizing the people of Karnaka. We, at the Karnaka Gazette, certainly support the efforts to maintain Strakona's unity. Our thoughts go to the families of those injured or killed. Way to stand up for uh, the, the people there. So yeah, she's watching... She's watching him, and he's watching them. And just one vicious cycle. <laughs> so dumb. Is there anything else up here? No? Okay. I don't need to knock her out, so. Alright, it's just another way to get up here. Wait, well, can I get up to that balcony? There we go. Ah! That would be a no! Alright. Honestly, though, I have been recording for quite a while. And I think... We're gonna leave it here. What? Okay. But anyways, um, I'm going to leave it here for now, and we'll come back and get past the wall of light, which we've already shut down, because we're, we roll like that. And uh, get this done. Uh, it seems like a lot of, the, uh, of Delilah's influence is permeating even past the political intrigue, which she might have a much darker endgame than we think. So we'll see. Anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like and a comment down below would be greatly appreciated. And this has been Boylag, signing off.